वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल पीजी के कदम एकेडमी डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द न्यूमेरिकल ऑन द बीपी बीपी मींस व्हाट दिस इज द ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट शोन इन दिस डायग्राम विथ रेड डॉट दिस ग्राफ शोज सेल्स वर्सेस द नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स सोल्ड अब दिस ग्राफ शोन बाय द हैचिंग ऑफ प्रॉफिट्स एंड बिलो दिस रेड कलर लॉस above this point there will the profit will start every company have to achieve the more 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 profit for this purpose above this bp if there is a sales of number of units how much sale we have to do it and how much sales in rupees we have to do it to calculate this new bp numerical 2 we will start with the few one example this is the example here the fixed cost is given for the year 1999 2000 r rupees 5 lakh variable cost for that product per unit is 25 rupees estimated sale for the period value 15 lakh each unit sells 150 we have to calculate the bp in unit and in also rupees we have to calculate if the sales of 1 lakh 20000 will likely sells turnover for the budget period calculate the estimated contribution and profit this is the profit or loss that we have to find out the estimated contribution is we have to calculate and third condition if profit target of rupees 6 lakh 50000 for this budget year we have to compute the turnover required turnover means how much sales we have to do it for this achieving the profit target so this is the year calculate uh, determination of this given data so how to do it so this fixed cost is given for this year that is of 5 lakh what is the fixed cost fixed cost is the cost which will change is it change no do not change with respect to time that cost will not change that means the rent is always fixed interest charges also fixed so like this are the examples of the fixed cost similarly variable cost overhead is nothing but the the cost which will change in the output the output is change like this material cost labor cost is going to change after the change in the output energy cost also include in the variable cost these are the overheads variable cost you can say also overheads here estimated sales in rupees at 15 lakh each unit sells in rupees 150 so this is the given data and we have to calculate these three things okay afterwards first will go for the bp means break even point in units we can calculate by using this formula fixed cost upon contribution margin per unit contribution margin is nothing but the difference between the sales and the variable overheads so we can calculate by using this formula selling price per unit upon minus variable cost per unit also we can find out the estimated contribution is equal to fixed cost plus profit these are the formula for the contribution margin per unit here fixed cost is given to you selling price per unit also given and variable cost per unit also given so we can find out the break even point fixed cost upon contribution margin per unit that is you can write also f upon s minus v the s minus v also we can calculate this v is the this variable cost per unit so this v is given actually after that s is also given 150 rupees per unit also given so we have to calculate the contribution margin per unit 150 rupees minus rupees 125 answer will become 125 then what will the bp units bp units we can calculate here f upon s minus v units that fixed cost 5 lakh upon 150 minus 25 the value of this bp units that will the units that will the value becomes 4000 rupees units and calculating the bp in rupees 
that fixed cost in rupees p by v ratio is the ratio so it's unit in rupees so how to find out the profit volume ratio profit volume ratio is nothing but the contribution of margin per unit upon sales price per unit it measures the profitability in relation to the sales so that formula is contribution of margin per unit upon sales price per unit so it is a measure to compare the profitability of different products higher the p by v ratio higher yielding is the product so friends profit volume ratio p by v ratio we can calculate 125 upon 150 is equal to 0.83 once the find out the point rate is 3 bp in sales value in rupees at 5 lakh fixed cost here and p by v ratio here it is given at point rate 3 and answer bp in sales value become 6 lakh 2410 this is the first number answer we have calculated in second number we have to solve it what we have to calculate estimated contribution profit the estimated contribution we can find out by using this formula sales in rupees minus variable cost in rupees this is not given this is a given to you this number of units into variable cost per unit number of units into variable cost per unit we can find out the variable cost so this number of units is not given to you So how to find out this number of units? The sales it is given to you for target of one lakh twenty thousand and selling price each unit that is in one fifty rupees. This one lakh twenty thousand upon one fifty will get the value of eight hundred. This eight hundred is nothing but the number of units into variable cost per unit that is twenty five rupees. So we'll get the variable cost total variable cost of rupees twenty thousand. Twenty thousand is the variable cost for this much sales. So estimated contribution for this much sales minus variable cost for this much sales is one lakh twenty thousand minus twenty thousand. So value become one lakh. So one lakh is the final answer for estimated contribution is one lakh. So profit. Where to find out profit now? So estimated contribution is one lakh. We just calculated. After that, to find out the profit, you use this formula: fixed cost plus profit is equal to estimated contribution. So profit is equal to estimated contribution minus fixed cost. So one lakh minus five lakh. That will be the minus four lakh. This minus four lakh means what? It there is a loss. Here is the what loss of rupees four lakh rupees. So minus symbol indicates it is a loss. in the this for the sales of profit sales of 1 lakh 20000 sales okay now third condition is what if sales were to find out in this case for the profit target here 6 lakh 50000 that profit is target given to you 6 lakh 50000 how much sales is required so that we can calculate in rupees sales in rupees So for that purpose, what is the formula for estimated contribution? Fixed cost plus profit. So fixed cost is five lakh, and profit is six lakh fifty thousand. So total addition gives the estimated contribution of eleven lakh fifty thousand. The P by V ratio, fixed cost upon B P sales in rupees. The B P sales in rupees already we have calculated. That value is six lakh two thousand four hundred ten. For the fixed cost, five lakh rupees. That BEP becomes this P by V ratio becomes by for the BEP sales. It is a already calculated. So 0.82. Okay. So next is the what? Also we can find out the P by V ratio is equal to estimated contribution upon sales. Estimated contribution for this condition we know sales we have to find out what the value of sales. That we can find out. Estimated contribution of eleven lakh fifty thousand upon P by V ratio. That value becomes rupees fourteen lakh two thousand four hundred thirty nine. So this is your total turnover required. That means sales value 
required. So friend, this is the three conditions for three were determined the values for the different conditions. Thank you for watching my video. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe my channel, PGK Kadam Academy. Thank you very much.